Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceAutoStore.com. Today we're out in a beautiful uh, cold Canadian day and the reason why we're out here in the cold is um, just to share with you the paint that we performed on this 72 Corvette that we're building. It's a resto mod, complete ground up restoration for a client and we originally started with um, the recipe for Le Mans Blue which is a very common GM color in the early 70s. What we did is we modified this color and uh, we did about four or five different samples and we changed the recipe in terms of the metallic. So the reason why we're out here today is this metallic, how, how straight the body is, how nice the shine, this is a base clear that we did here. Um, and the reason why we're out here is because under fluorescent lighting we kind of lose the, the sparkle. You can't really see how how nice the paint is and a client stopped in yesterday and said it almost looks like the metallic is following your eyes as you're walking around the car. So what we're going to do is I'm basically going to get out of the way. We're going to kind of zoom in on the camera or with the camera. We're going to zoom in and try and share with you the, the, uh, the metallic and how smooth and consistent the metallic is laying and obviously uh, there's a lot of body work that we had to perform too. This was an abandoned project, this Corvette. So um, there was lots of body work, lots of block sanding, hours and hours of sanding to get the body as straight as we could. Um, so we're quite proud of the paint job. I'm just hoping that this video camera will be able to pick up the sparkle of the metallic and the consistency of it. Because basically we have roughly, um, I think it's six coats of the the color of the base and then we have seven coats of clear so hopefully you can uh, be able to see what we'd like to do is share how neat the metallic is and how consistent it is through the whole car and with this 72 Corvette it's very tricky to do that um, with this metallic because it's a sparkle style of metallic which is a little bit heavier so it's kind of tricky to spray it and to be this consistent around all the, the swopes and curves and, and so on is, um, is quite neat. You can see obviously it's quite shiny. You probably can see my reflection as I walk down the side of it here. But the main thing is hopefully we can pick up on the, the metallic and how our client, one client stopped by and said almost like the, the metallic is dancing. I don't know if you would call it dancing, but... This Corvette certainly has some really nice body lines to it. Just not sure how well the metallic will show up in the video, but hopefully you get an idea of that. Uh... So we take a basic, uh, a basic Le Mans blue, and then we, uh, we change the recipe. So the shade of the blue is consistent with the General Motors Le Mans blue, and then we modified the metallic. So it's basically, it's not only the the, um, the weight of the metallic, or heavier metallic, but also the style. So instead of being fine, it's a little bit coarser, but then it also has the, um, the sparkle to it, which really makes it stand out. So under normal conditions, if this car, this Corvette was parked in the shade, you wouldn't really notice the metallic that much. It wouldn't really dance this much. Um, so in the shade or in a garage or in normal lighting, basically you're just gonna see blue in the shine. But under natural lighting, the sun hitting it, and with the camera, if it catches it a certain way, you can see how pretty that metallic is. It really is nicely laid out and gives the, the, this Corvette a really nice shape, a really nice contour. So hopefully you can pick up on that. So you can see this complete build, this 72 Corvette, if you visit our website, it's lastchanceautorestore.com. We have different sections on the website. One is current projects. So if you just click on the current projects, uh, this is one of them, the 72 Chevrolet Corvette. So you can basically, there's a couple hundred photos um, of this restoration. We'll continue to share updates as we build this particular car. So once again, our, our website is lastchanceautorestore.com. And I'm John, and thanks for watching.